lots of good stuff still. <laughs> hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Enough messing around with silliness. Time to finish this match. And you notice that the matches are on, on the in the front tees for some reason. I don't know why that is, but I thought that it would, like, they would want to make it a lot harder than front tees, but well, well, I guess this course is still pretty dang hard. And that's not the way I wanted to hit it, but that worked. Because <laughs> you notice that what I did was I hit into the rough rather than landing on the, the small patch of fairway in front of the mound and bouncing up. Uh, bouncing up the hill and onto the flat spot. Well, I, but I ended up exactly where I wanted to anyway, so whatever. Okay, <laughs> mm but can I make the green in two? I don't think so. I will try though, just because it's gonna be fun to try. At the very least, I'll be able to get really close, and no matter where my ball goes, and then I'll be able to get. Oh no, that's okay. But yeah, I I, I didn't really think I'd be able to make it in there because there's a lot of wind. Small margin for error. I mean, I mean, I mean a lot of room for error. Small margin for victory on that. And well, it happens. It happens. Ooh, he's in good position. Better than I am, but I don't think he's going to eagle, so I am not too worried about that. Oops, I mean approach. That will not work in the heath. Got a full swing to sucker. And I'm gonna try and control it with super backspin, because it's gonna come out low. And beautiful. It's gonna end up right on that flat spot. Wait, well, what the heck? Uh, that, that's not the flat spot I was talking about. I'm thinking behind the hole. Why did that end up being so short? The wind is with me. I don't understand. Well, well. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> he managed to eagle. Look at that. <laughs> well, that's something that I would do. <laughs> oh, sad face. He finally got a point on me. Bad way to start the parts, but good way for drama. <laughs> I mean, I should say good for the drama. Oh, he didn't. So he didn't move his cursor at the bottom right corner there. Well, that's that's not a bad position. It's a side hill, not an uphill or a downhill, so that's workable. And I'm gonna try just to go right in between all that garbage. <laughs> Look, I don't wanna end up. Uh, hitting a mound. I don't want to end up going down the pot bunkers or in the heath. I'm just gonna go, yeah, right up there. Oh, I got a bad lie. Dang it! You and your RNG golf. <laughs> and, and, and. This is workable though. I'm gonna have to control it with super backspin and everything, but that is absolutely doable. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Just hitting me for the chunky spots. There we go. So that's looking like a birdie. Hopefully. Maybe. And... What's he got? Uh, he's gonna hit the tree. Uh-oh. Uh, oh no, he didn't hit the tree. <laughs> it's ended up, ended up coming just a bit short there, but... The tree is in front of him, and that might be enough to mess him up enough. Now I use the tree to his advantage to slow the ball down. <laughs> that is something you can actually do, as long as the... The tree you're hitting through isn't very twiggy. Like, you want something that's soft and fluffy if you're hitting through it and you want it to slow down, but the chances of you actually having something like that around the green are nil to none. Anyway, I moved it a smidge to the right, just a smidge, because it's uh, left, I mean, right to left putt, and there we go. And there we go. <laughs> oh, poor legend kid. Uh, um. Uh, oh, this green, it's like a bowl. When it's raining this hard, it's probably how it's the worst drainage in the world. <laughs> like, you know how greens are made to have really good drainage that it drops off the sides and all, has the, all these special figured out channels and stuff like that for the water to flow? Well, this one, this one's gonna puddle. <laughs> Everything just leads to the center. In a, in a way that has the issue of, yeah, making you long on your shots. Because when you land the ball, you got to land it on the downslope to an extent. Uh, I guess you could land it in the rough, but because of all that tearage, you know, like all... Holy poopers, that's a terrible shot. <laughs> but yeah, because of all that 
because uh, you know it's an uphill shot to a tiered green. If you end up hitting short, then end up in the, hitting into that ridge, it's just not really going to turn out right. So it's a really precise shot to hit between the fringe and the green. So that's why I, I whoa! <laughs> I was like, what? That was way over hit. <laughs> but yeah, that's why you gotta gotta play to whatever opportunity you can and try and work with it like I did there and I still got another birdie so <laughs> um, I am being more careful with my shots as you can tell here like I'm putting a lot of thoughts into how exactly I want them to bounce and react and stuff like that so I am playing longer than I would normally play but I just want to make it good <laughs> you know I don't want to don't want to miss any opportunities because, as I said, kid, you will get ya. <laughs> You've seen him, Eagle. What? Well, Eagles aren't the thing that you can do all the time, so I'll try and match him birdie for birdie and beat him birdies for his powers whenever he gets powers, but I don't think I can top Eagles. <laughs> Uh, at least, you know, at least not on this course with my current stats because the holes are so dang long. I mean, yeah, granted we're playing the front tees and everything like that, but still, it's, it's a thing to... Oh, jeez. This is a really tight location. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a thing of that I've got to try and maximize my opportunities as best I can. I miss at that left, but it shouldn't matter that much. Oh! I don't know if I should putt that or chip that. Well, it looks like he's going to be powering anyway, so I could risk the putt. But now, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should go for the chip in. Or, I should say, just bump and run it up close. Yeah, I'll do something like that, aiming left. I mean, aiming right of the hole, let it move to the left because of the wind. And carefully time it. Ooh! <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Not so beautiful for him, though. If I tie, I win, so we shall see how it goes. You know, this is went a lot faster than I thought it would, it would have. Uh, but uh, there's always always a mini game that I could do, you know, to kind of pass the rest of the time of the part, I guess you could say. Um, we'll see how this goes anyway, because this could actually be a win for him, because it's a par 5, he could eagle it, so... We'll see how it rolls. Uh, you, also, you can actually win multiple holes in a row, because, you know, you can chip stuff in all the boy, all over the place. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't want to count the chickens, you know. Uh, trees in my way if I hit left. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I'm going to have to try and risk it and hit between this heath, this rough, this semi-rough, this semi-rough, to, uh, to this little patch of fairway here. So, <laughs> here we go, let it rip. Actually, it shouldn't matter that much if I don't hit the fairway here because, um, you know, I'm really close to the green at this point then, but I'm, I still managed to hit the fairway. But I just didn't want to put myself in too bad of a position, namely the heath. So, if anything, I would want to miss to the right rather than to the left there. Anyway, uh, he's going to be past the tree safely, but no eagle for him unless he chips it in. As for me, I am not going to spin it at all. I'm just going to kind of let it roll on its merry way to the hole. Because this is a really high trajectory here. So I shouldn't need any spin whatsoever to get it to stop. It should just... Look at that. <laughs> nice and soft. There we go. And I don't think I'll have to move the cursor there. Maybe a little to the right. I don't know. I think if I hit it hard enough, I'll just get past all the break. Ooh, chip in number two for him? Nope, guess not. Alright, I'm gonna try not moving the cursor. Just for kicks. And... Win. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> well, he did his best, I'm sure. But, man, I, he usually does a lot better than that, really. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I got here level her up. I should actually focus on leveling her up more. They haven't really been doing so much lately in comparison. Well, actually it's more equal than I thought. Well, 
Well, his stats are pretty good, so <laughs> I'm just gonna gonna kind of super level her up. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'll go drive distance, drive distance, because all the other stats are pretty comfortable for me. And I think I'll actually lower his height because that actually makes it hard to deal with stuff in the wind. So yeah, I'm gonna, it's the first time I'm gonna adjust his height because his height just keeps going higher and higher as you go and whatnot. So there we go. All right. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, best of luck with that. <laughs> as for now, I don't think. I'm gonna do any of the mini games there because if you remember, um, well at least for now I'm not gonna do the mini games there because if you remember, we got some rather difficult ones going on here. Yeah, you got the two chip ins out of ten shots approach contest normal. So my idea here is if I had extra time in the parts, that whoop, Xbox D pad, that I would go and flop on back over to say. Uh, actually, I'll do club slots. I'm much better at club slots than I am at the go-go gates for the Lynx course. So, here we go. Club slots, challenge course four. That is, of course, the Lynx club. Because, as you as you know, they each are, I each have their corresponding one for each individual course. So, we begin! Well, after this short cutscene. And a message from our sponsors. Wait, where's the... Where's the sponsor? Oh, forget it. <laughs> uh, uh, oh shoot, I'm hitting into the green with a driver. And this is a part three. A short part three. Well, well, oh no. Well, all I have to do is par out of three holes, so... In theory, I should be able to get a par out of this. Oh shoot, I underhit that. Well, that's gonna land in the rough, or in the bunker, and be well short. Yep, bunker. <laughs> and it plugged on the edge. Uh, I'm glad it's not a riveted bunker. Uh, you might also know them as layered sod bunkers, which are common on Lynx golf courses. Uh, they're, they're, what you do is they like layer multiple pieces of sod up all like at a straight line ridge. It's just so that the ball really makes sure that it's stuck in there. And it also has the way of making the ball channel to the center of there, so it's not always against the wall, but uh, well, in this case, it would have been right up against the wall, so I would have had to hit out sideways if it was one of those riveted bunkers. Anyway, I got myself a par. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's do it. To it. Oh, shoot! I am not getting lucky with the slots. <laughs> well, I am, or at least I should, be able to hit between those trees. And by the way that I hit that, I think I am going to hit in between those trees. Well, oh, maybe not. I nicked one. And, oh, I have a clear shot? Really? How? How? <laughs> okay, I will, I will take that. Uh, 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 I guess a power shot doesn't really make much of a difference, does it? Uh, okay, here we go. For birdie... I should say to get myself in position for birdie. <laughs> I don't know how that came out of there, but it did. Alright, there we go. Yeah, let's make this pretty putts. Oops. Thought I clicked too quickly and I ended up in the swinging screen. Uh, I just want a little smidge to the right, just a smidge. As it's uphill, I'm hitting past the mark. There we go. There's a birdie, and I got a little cushion going on here. So, if I should bogey this hole, I will still win. Ah! <laughs> fine, fine. Forward the whole way. <laughs> I just figured I would have a better middle club for an approach, but it is not to be, I guess. Anyway, I just want to hit past all that junk and hopefully not have a tree in my way. That went way farther than I thought. What I wanted to do is hit into the rough and have the rough slow it down, but that did not work at all. Uh, where's my landing? Oh, jeez. I need to know where I can land this. Ah! Nine iron, save me! <laughs> uh, I think I'll still power this hole, though. It's Because all I have to do is get a power bogey, and I've got this as a win, but 
you know, I always go for the birdies or pars. That's that's the way that I play. So, and anything else is just disappointing to me. Oh no, another tree. Okay, now a power shot will make a difference. And I'll use the wind to my advantage here. And I'm not gonna super backspin it because I think that's gonna be too much. I'm just gonna kind of let it go a little bit. And okay, that's that'll do. <laughs> I definitely got a par, so I won this challenge. But can I get the birdie? That is the question. I moved it a little bit to the right. Oh, I hit it too hard. Well, uh, oh, okay, it's it was right. <laughs> I thought I hit it too hard there, but. As long as it goes in, it's technically not too hard. And whoops, I should equalize this a little bit here. There we go! <laughs> and there we go. Mushroom course added to club slots. But where? But where? Because he says you've cleared all four. Well, I'll get to that later. <laughs> oh, what you got? What you got? Woo! Because I cleared them all! I got muscle dream! Who should use it? Who should use it? I think uh, the drive distance is pretty equal, actually. Uh, you know what? I'll take it because it seems like I have more difficulties controlling my stats than I do Neil's. <laughs> so as long as I can get a free power up without any de degradation of any other stats, I might as well go for it, right? Thank you, thank you. I will, and I did. Although, there's still the double stuff going on that I, that I still gotta do and whatnot. But for now, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I, well, who knows? I'm not sure if I'll side quest, I'm not sure if I'll turny it up, because there's other stuff that I can do, and yeah. <laughs> but for now, doo doo! -doo.